Actually, Cam started playing basketball when he was six. And I guess for me as a mom, I had this tall child. So, of course, the natural thing is to gravitate to that, you know what I mean, that sport. And Cam played for a little bit, and he absolutely hated it. He did not want to play. The coach kept saying to the kids, do nothing. The play is you pass the ball to Cam, and he had Cam situated (laughs) <laughs> like around the key and then he did his three little steps and they would pass the ball and that was it and Cam did not like that because he kept saying it's not really a team sport and I don't mm. want to do this anymore so that didn't last very long oh, wow. he actually ventured to football oh, he played okay. football for a couple of years girl you don't know he was MVP all-star you name it Cam he was fantastic and he played that for the community and he played that all the way up until high school oh Yes, well, our high school, like I was saying, is grade seven. So let's say he played until he was about um, 13. And then one day he decided he wasn't playing football no more. And at that time, he lived in Ottawa with his dad. And he was spending time with me. He came to Montreal to spend time with me for the weekend. And uh, I had a meeting. And while I was at my meeting, he was playing around in the gym and he was throwing the ball around, a basketball. And someone approached him and said, hey, do you play basketball? And Kim's like, no. And he's like, well, you should be playing basketball. He says, your, your coordination is fantastic. Okay. And then when I came out the meeting, the, the, the person approached me, and he's like, yeah, let me take your kid to, uh, to Syracuse with me for, uh, for the weekend, and let's see what happens. And that's exactly what happened. Kim uh, went to go visit uh, the Orangeman, and he oh. spent a weekend there, and... All that to say, within a week, Cam was ranked number one. Wow. <laughs> he was, yeah. Really? Yeah. Yeah. He came back to Montreal, wow. and we were like, hold on a second. Like, let's let's do this. And Cam, uh, we started putting him in on, on basketball teams in Ottawa because he still lived there. Okay. Um, and he started playing for, uh, I think he played a year or two in Ottawa. And then after that, he came to Montreal, and uh, that's pretty wow. much where it began. They start early, I tell you. Did you, I mean, did you, at that time, you have a a child who goes from hating basketball to now loving it, balling out, being so great. Did you, did you see a pro possibility for him? Did you see him as a pro player? Not really. And you know what? It's funny because I grew up watching basketball myself. I mean, I come on now. Who didn't watch the Bulls back then, right? I was like a Jordan fan. I was all about ball. But to me, it was basketball. It didn't click to me that, oh, my God, this is actually a professional sport. They're getting paid. This is a job. This is a career. To me, it was just the NBA, you know what I mean, entertainment. Yes. It was only after when Kem became um, popular because now people are calling and calling. And I'm like, hold on a second. This is actually a wait, this is a career? Like, this is what people actually do? You know what I mean? I'm used to, you know, you go to work and you do that nine to five. And it didn't register to me that basketball was, you know what I mean? Like, it didn't, to me, it wasn't a a career, a profession at all. So when people were telling me, you know, your son, he has potential, I didn't at the beginning understand what that meant. It just When did you, when, I remember those same kinds of conversations and I, when people are telling you that your your kid has this potential, right? Like that he's just really good. like. What were you thinking? What about him? Now he was tall, right? Yeah. How tall was he? Like, tell me about his his height experience. Like, how did that go? Like, how, how much taller was he than everyone else? Oh my God. Okay. So Ken was that kid that you couldn't find in the school pictures because he was as tall as the teacher. So <laughs> why is he so tall? You're, yeah, yeah. You're, you're not, I mean, you're tall, but you're not that tall. Is his father really tall? No, <laughs> he's 5'11". I am, what, 5'8". So where's he get his height? You know, I would say, and they say that's like generational. My father is not tall, but my brothers are tall. My brothers are like 6'6". Six, six. He's Ooh. the tallest 6'4". I, I don't know. We're just... <laughs> I don't but know. Kim is, how, how tall is Kim now? 6'9". That's crazy. When he was three, the doctor did say to me that your son is going to be about six, eight, six, nine. And I thought that man was cray cray. I did not yeah. believe him. I'm like, yeah, okay. Like, just give him the lollipops so we can go. You know what I mean? I didn't, yeah. I, didn't I knew he was tall, <laughs> but I couldn't imagine six, nine, right? I just, it just didn't register to me. I did probably never seen anybody that was, you know what I mean? Six, nine at the time. So I don't know. It was all new to me. So. Wow. Wow. 